in my kind of teens and my early to mid twenties, I was a lot more ambitious. Um, and as I get older, I feel like I'm getting more and more kind of conservative with risk management. Um, and so, so yes, I still have all of those kind of ambitions to, to kind of follow through on those things that I am intellectually curious about, about the world and about software and engineering and making a change and kind of doing good both, uh, both for myself and for others. But I do find myself, and maybe it's simply experience of the world, um, and maybe I was, uh, you know, maybe it was naivety of, of youth, but, but sometimes I kind of miss that kind of blissful ignorance of, of being incredibly ambitious and just jumping straight into the deep end. I think it is experience. I think it is uh, learning from failures, seeing the world, um, realizing that you can't just jump into the deep end and start a business without a business plan, right? There is, um, there are, again, I think, it, I think a, a big part of it is or was the naivety of youth, but it's a good, it, it ultimately, I think it is a good thing because, um, the roots of that ambition in terms of all of these things in the world that I am curious about and curious about solving, I still want to solve them, but perhaps I'll approach them in a, in a way with a plan as opposed to just kind of jumping in the deep end. We don't hear the stories of the majority of people who may be ambitious and kind of get to their 30s, get to their 40s, still have that ambition, but haven't really followed through on it. If I had an infinite safety net, I'd very likely be doing different things today to drive towards those ambitions.